In this video, I will give you an idea how to draw angled walls. And I also want to point out that this will also work for other things, other parts. Um, you know, if you're drawing something straight like a handrail or a fence, something like that, you might be able to just do the same, implement the same rules. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Just going to have a regular wall inside uh, exterior. Let's go with an interior. And if I draw a straight line, I can simply just pull it over and it's going to move it over in 15 degree increments. And if you look down here, there's actually a, a number you can see where it is going to move it. There we have it at 60, 45. It's going to take it in 15 degree increments. Now let's say that I, I want it to be 44 degrees. All I'm going to do is click on it, double click on it, and I can change it to here. I want it to be 42 degrees, let's say. 42 degrees, okay. And that'll change it to 42 degrees if I need it to be a specific angle. And again, you can always do that down here also. Now, if I take and drag it, here's something I noticed. If I move it, if I take it and move it, Now I do notice it's, it's moving these walls, be at the front there. Um, if I grab this, it takes the whole wall and changes it over. So something that you might need to might need to know. So I got to I got to be at the front here, front of the wall. Grab it over. Now I'm going to be going in 15 degree increments here. Now when I stop. When I stop and I start again, it's going to go in 15 degree increments. Now it wants to snap to the 90, I noticed, and it wants to snap to the um, zero or 180, whichever we're looking at. So it does want to uh, snap and then it starts all over again. So if you uh, do, you know, you get to a point, let's see what the degree is. Here we're at 30 degrees. You know, if you enter in, um, 25 degrees you start moving this thing around and uh, it's not working out you can actually just snap it to a 90 and it'll start all over again with your 15 degree um, increments I notice so whether that'll be helpful or not I don't know so that's kind of it for the angled walls I don't really know what else to point out except for if you are going to a fixed area let's say that you need to go to from this corner to this corner here and I'm going to make sure that I'm on, on exterior wall and I'm just simply going to drag it up now this this didn't work out very good because this is exactly where it needs to be you can see it's at a 45 degree angle um, I was trying to show you that what if it was at a different angle and hopefully this isn't I'm going to delete this try this again here so I'm gonna come up here dragsters that's close to it so let's just say that I'm trying to get to here this is ridiculous let's say that I'm trying to get to this point right here I want my wall to end right here can't believe how good I am with this so I'm gonna come up here and you can see here where this wants to go in the 15 degree increments now if I push the control key I can now move this wherever I want to. If I want it to end up over here. Now if I let off on the control key, it's going to take me back to the 15 degree increments. So again, push control, and that's obviously on Windows, Mac. I'm sure you, you know the routine by now. Whatever you need to push, since I don't have a Mac. So again, just the control. I want it to end up right here let off and that's going to be the thing so control and then when this button pops up here it's just a um, you know it's telling you that it's, it's an odd angle let's take a look at what the angle is on it double click on the wall so we're at a 27.676748 degree angle if I wanted to change this to a 29 degree angle 29 push OK and we can see that it moved it to be 29 degrees so uh, and it and of course it fixed that odd thing um, 
just going to kind of come off here and push control so I get this again click on it so I can fix it or I can ignore it just ignore it and it's done that's the angle that I want it to be and it doesn't need to be a precise angle but most of the time in construction you're going to want to have um, angles that the carpenters can work with and they're going to have to probably be you know if they're in five degree increments that's going to be helpful but uh, um, if not if you have a point that you're going to let's say you're measuring um, 10 foot 4 inches off of here and uh, and and you want it to line up with the outside and then you're going to be coming off of a point here that's not going to be difficult for a carpenter to figure out but if you're going to say hey this needs to be at a 20 degree or 21 degree angle and it's got to line up and that's how you're going to find this spot right here that's not going to be as easy for them so anyway hope it was helpful and uh, the next video I'm going to do will be on curved walls. So uh, make sure you watch that one.